asmat gurubhyo namaha dear students in today's class we shall discuss some questions pertaining to cet and neat the topic i would like to discuss is the principle of inheritance and variation now let us look into little bit of mendel mendel who is also known as johann gregor mendel was born in 1822 and he died in 1884 and he was a citizen of moravia and he possessed moravian nationality his place of birth austria and place of death brun or bruno mendel carried his research work on pea plant by some satyavam for nearly 7 years that is from 1856 to 1863 during his study on paisam satyavam he virtually handled 29000 pea plants mendel read his research paper entitled experiments on plant hybridization in two meetings one in february and another one in march in 1865 he read his paper in a meeting of natural history society of brun in moravia when mendel's paper was published in 1866 his paper got published in proceedings of the natural history society of brun there was a little impact and it was cited only about three times in the next 35 years that means mendel's work was not at all appreciated when he was alive in 1900 three european botanists namely hugo duris from holland karl korens from germany and eric schermack from austria published the results of their experiments carried out in the 1890s that supported mendel's experimental results and his conclusions the work which was done by mendel about 35 years back that is in 1865 which was published in 1865 got much support after these three scientists started working on the paisam satyavam in 1890s these are the three scientists who worked on the same paisam that is paisam satyavam and this work of these three scientists gave rebirth to mendel's work on paisam satyavam carried about 35 years ago Modern genetics began in the mid 1800s in an abbey garden where Gregor Mendel documented inheritance in peace. Why Mendel has become success? Mendel used experimental method, used quantitative analysis. 29,000 plants observation is not a small thing. He collected data and counted them. Excellent example of scientific method. More than that, Mendel was good. with mathematics statistics and he applied his knowledge of statistics and also the reason skill by making use of the mathematical tools to to publish his biological findings mendel bred pea plants and he cross pollinated true breeding parents what is a true breeding parent a true breeding parent he is also known as a pure line breed this true breeding parents always produce the progeny of the same type generation after generation so he raised seed and then observed traits in the f1 generation what is called first filial generation mendel cross pollinated two true breeding parents as you can see here he cross pollinated the white flowered plant with that of the purple flowered plant and he noticed the 
color or he noticed the character in the F1. He observed the trait in F1. He allowed the offspring to cross pollinate and observe the next generation that is F2. Whenever the true breeding varieties are crossed, the progeny that is obtained is always called hybrid and it is called F1, first female generation. When the first female generation are self-bred or self-pollinated, whatever that is obtained is called second female generation or F2. So he can, you can see here, these are the seven characters studied by Mendel with the two varieties for each character. For example, here you can see the character is the color of the flower or also seed coat color. The second one is the color of seed or cotyledon color. The third one is the shape of the seed. The fourth one is the color of the pod. The fifth one, the shape of the pod. Sixth one, the position of the flower. And seventh one is the height of the plant. For each of these uh, characters, Mendel observed two, two varieties. As you can make it here clearly, the plant height is the plant height is with the two of the varieties tall into dwarf. In this the tall and dwarf varieties, tall is to dominant over dwarf. You know, in uh, genetics, whatever in uh, inheritance pattern, whatever the character or whatever the trait that appears in F1 is called dominant and whatever the trait that is hidden is called recessive. So, when the two pure breeding varieties are crossed, the variety or the trait that appears in F1 is called the dominant trait. The one which does not appear or hidden is called a recessive trait. So, as far as the plant height is concerned, the tall and dwarf, these are the two varieties and amongst these, tall is the dominant over dwarf. Like that, with regard to the pod shape, full and constricted, these are the two varieties, full being dominant over constricted. As far as the pod color is concerned, green and yellow, these are the two varieties, green is the dominant over yellow. That means, green appears in the F1 and yellow is hidden. As far as the seed surface is concerned, round and wrinkled, these are the two varieties, round is dominant over wrinkled. Seed color, also known as cotyledon color, yellow and green, these are the two varieties, yellow color is dominant over green. Flower color, also the gene in the same chromosome is situated for seed coat color, among these, colored and white, these are the two varieties, colored is dominant over white. And position of the, position of the flower, axial and terminal, the axial position is dominant over terminal. Of these seven characteristics, always you should uh, take care about the pod color, which is dominant and which is recessive, seed color or cotyledon color, you should know, yellow is dominant over green, and position of the flower, axial position is dominant over terminal. On these three, always students get confused at the time of examination. Question will be asked, which one is wrong with regard to dominant and recessive inheritance? You must know this very well. Now let us do this crossing. True breeding purple flower piece crossed with the true breeding white flower piece. You know, F1 100% purple flower. When F1 is self-pollinated, in F2 you get 75% purple flowers and 25% white flowers and this appeared in the ratio 3 to 1. So phenotype of monohybrid cross of F2, F2 phenotype of monohybrid cross is here purple flower and white flower. The phenotype ratio is 3 to 1. What Mendel, what Mendel's findings say? Trades come in alternative version. Always Mendel has shown that for each character there are two traits. The traits are the alternative versions of a gene. For example, purple and white, these are the two traits, alternate version of the color of the flower. So we also call the gene responsible for this variety as allele. What is an allele? Alleles, different alleles vary in the sequence of nucleotides at the specific locus of a gene. In fact, the allele is a member of a gene or we say a gene is an allelic pair. For any character, 
for any character there are always so two alleles one allele is inherited from the male parent and another allele is inherited from the female parent for any particular character in a diploid organism for any character there will be always so two alleles one comes from male parent and another comes from the female parent so alleles different alleles vary in the sequence of nucleotides at the specific locus of a gene you must know that if at all there are two alleles pertaining to one character these two alleles always occupy the same locus now with regard to this um, purple flower you can see an allele for purple flower is situated in this in the heterozygous condition you can see allele for the white flower is situated here so this allele for purple and allele for white these are the alleles of a single gene and always these occupy the same locus traits are inherited as discrete units for each characteristic an organism inherits two alleles this is what i already mentioned one from each parent in a diploid organism inherits so two sets of organism sorry two sets of chromosome a diploid organism inherits uh, two sets of chromosome one set from each parent one from each parent and these two chromosomes which come one from each parent they are always called homologous chromosomes for example in our body we have 23 pairs of chromosome 23 pairs out of these 23 pairs of chromosome one set is 20 23 chromosome has come from our male parent and another set with another 23 chromosome has come from our female parent together we being the diploid animal in our body each cell possesses two sets of chromosome 23 pairs 46 chromosomes what did mendel's findings mean some traits mask others as i have told you the trait which masks the other one is one is dominant the masked one is called recessive so here purple mass white therefore purple is dominant and white is a recessive the dominant allele is fully expressed in the fully expressed in the, the f1 recessive allele is no it has no noticeable effect in the f1 genotype versus phenotype the what is phenotype the visible expression of an organism visible expression of a character is the phenotype and the genetic constitution pertaining to that character is called the genotype for example if at all we say that tall is the visible expression of a particular person certain one capital t t or capital t small t this whatever i have written here this is the genetic component we are responsible for the visible physical character that is the tallness phenotype phenotype is the description of an organism's trait and genotype is the description of an organism's genetic makeup genetic makeup so purple flower white flower this is this are the visible expression the genes for the purple or genes for the white these are the genetic genetic makeup of an organism so now let us look into this cross by making use of the alphabet the capital p for the purple color and small p for the white color look here this is what true breeding purple flower is crossed with the true breeding the white flower the f1 is hybrid with the capital p and small p and here f1 is a hybrid with the purple flower color so the white is a masked here so purple is dominant over white look here this is what true breeding purple flower capital p p true breeding white flower small p p and f1 capital p small p 100% so all are purple flower peas and when this f1 purple flower hybrid purple flowers are selfed you will get f2 75% purple flower and 25% white flower in the ratio 3 to 1 and the same thing is written in the form of a table which is always referred to as a punnett square punnett square or checkerboard at one side the male gametes are written at the other side the female gametes are written and inside the boxes the progeny is written so this is the way of expression so the f2 ratio of the mono hybrid cross is 1 is to 2 is to 1 f2 ratio of mono hybrid genotype is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and f2 phenotype of phenotype and phenotypic ratio 
of one of the the color versus the white in a 3 is to 1. So genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 and phenotypic ratio 3 is to 1. Whenever only one character is taken for the study of the inheritance, it is known as the single gene inheritance. So homozygous and heterozygous. Whenever the alleles are of the same type, then the individual is said to be homozygous. Capital PP, small PP. Whenever one allele is so dominant and another one is recessive, different alleles, then the individual is said to be heterozygous. So here, capital PP, small PP are homozygous, capital P, small P are the heterozygous pertaining to the trait purple. This Two organisms can have the same phenotype but have different genotype. Two organisms can have the same phenotype. For example, there are two tall. The tall, they are two individuals are tall, but the genotype may be one, so genotype may be capital T and another one may be possessing capital T small t. That is, one is homozygous, another is heterozygous. So the with the different genotype, the phenotype of an organism may be same. For example, here. Purple, capital PP, homozygous so dominant, it is also purple. Capital P, small p, heterozygous, but it is also purple. So, an individual may have same phenotype, but the genotype may be different. Dominant phenotype, it is not possible to determine the genotype of an organism with a dominant phenotype by looking at it. If you only want to know what is the genotype of a dominant individual, the best way is that we have to cross this dominant individual with the recessive parent. F1 of unknown genotype, when it is caused with the recessive parent, it is called the test cross. So, whenever we get this purple flower, we cannot say whether the purple flower is of homozygous or heterozygous. In order to find out whether the purple flower is of homozygous type or heterozygous type, or whether it's a pure or whether it's hybrid, one has to cross this, one has to cross this F1 of unknown genotype with the, the recessive parent. And this is known as a test to cross. Crossbreed, the dominant phenotype we of unknown genotype, dominant phenotype of unknown genotype with a homozygous recessive to determine the identity of the unknown allele. See here, we don't know. This is the purple one. We don't know whether it's purple, is a pure or hybrid. For that purpose, it is caused with the recessive parent. Estosala, who will know her in Nordaga? And a Banda Node, other the genotype no teleporola. Are the pure breeder, hybrid heliporilla? Other can much there. One the pure breeder no, at the hybrid on the Tilkolic Beck again. Yaf one eleven dirota, one the who are no, one the get on no. Other recessive parent to Jate, other cross mortuary. Recessive parent in irte, white irte. Avaga, Yava eatana, Yaf one unknown genotype, recessive parent to cross morto. Our secret of Pajinile, yellow, yellow, purple adre, are the pure breed. Fifty per cent purple, fifty per cent white adre, are the hybrid. Hybrid in the heterozygous genotype. You know, there, you the test cross. You live now purple flower, don't you? You then in Madeo, purple flower, no, you then no recessive parent is at the cross Madeo. Ye recessive parent at the cross Madaga, Namge Sikida. Progeny, Santana de yellow purple. Hundred percent purple in there, our yenito, yaf one, yaf one, unknown genotype in the la, other homozygous of purple. Ade, one well yaf one genotype. Heterozygous adre, nam yelen sicute, aderiti, yaf one genotype, unknown genotype of plantana, yaf one, unknown genotype in the do, dominant character to Santa don, our plantano, recessive parentate, cross madaga. The Ayotu Sekada, purple Ayotu Sekada, Bidisikire, Avaga, F1 heterozygous at a hybrid and tele, Gutta Gutte. So Mendel Yetana experiment in the one law on the owner of Prochodi Mada. Yena Logene, he has put forward it. One the law on the Mundita, law of segregation. Idian Yetel of segregation when gametes are produced during meiosis. Homologous chromosomes separate from each other. Each allele for a trait is packaged into a separate gamete. Law of segregation here is this. Yavaga gamete formation agutto. 
ಆವಾಗ ಹೋಮಲಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಂಸು ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಈಗ ಹೋಮಲಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಂಸು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ತಂದೆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ತಾಯಿ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅವುಗಳು ಯಾವತ್ತು ಜೊಚೋದತಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಹೋಮಲಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲು ಒಂದು ಜೀನು ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲು ಇರ್ತವೆ ಈ ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ತಂದೆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಒಂದು ತಾಯಿ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಈ ತಂದೆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದ ಮತ್ತು ತಾಯಿ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋನ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗೋ ಜೊತೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಅಲೀಲುಗಳು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ಚಿತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದು ಇದು ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಈ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪೇರೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಪೇರೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಂಥ ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲು ಅದು ಕ್ರಮಸೋ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಎರಡು ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಗೆ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂತು ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂತು ಇಲ್ಲಿನೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಈ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೇ ಹೇಳುವಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ಮೊದಲು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೊದಲು ಹೊಮಲಿಕ್ ಸೋಮಸೋಮ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಇದು ಹೊಮಲಿಕ್ ಸೋಮಸೋಮ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ಒನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಮಲಿಕ್ ಸೋಮಸೋಮ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ಟೂನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಹೊಮಲಿಕ್ ಸೋಮಸೋಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಂಥ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕೊಮೆಟಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅವುಗಳು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಅಲೀಲುಗಳು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತವೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಗ್ರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಗ್ರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ರೇಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ದ ಅಲೀಲ್ಸ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ and enter into a separate gamete different gamete that is law of segregation it is also known as law of purity of gametes id adra bage ne torsiru antar modlo homologous one separate aitu amele amele miosis tondadaga homologous one separate aitu amele sister gametes separate aitu miosis tutu adaga so iga ne helidavu yavaga one characters annu mundittkomittu navu ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೋ ಅದು ಮೋನೋ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಎರಡು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಟರೆ ದ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆ ನಾನು ಪರ್ಪಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಉಳಿದ ವೈಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಟಾಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಉಳಿದೆ ಡಾರ್ಫ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ಟಾಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಗೆ ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲು ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಜೀನು ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲು ಡಾರ್ಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಜೀನು ಎರಡು ಅಲೀಲು ಇವು ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ಥರದ ಅಲೀಲು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದು ಹೋಮೋ ಜೈಗಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಒಂದಾಯಿತು ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಬಂತು ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಬಂತು ಜೈ ಗೋಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟ ಟಿ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿ ಇದೆ ಏನೇ ಇದು ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಆಯಿತು ಒಂದು ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟ ಟಿ ಬಂತು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿ ಬಂತು ಈ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ನನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟ ಟಿ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟ ಟಿ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ ಟು ಬಂದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಎರಡು ಥರದ ಟಾಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಟಾಲ್ ಒಂದು ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಟಾಲ್ ಒಂದು ನಮಗೆ ಡಾರ್ಪ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇವುಗಳ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಜೀನೋಟಿಪಿಕ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಒನ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಟು ಇಷ್ಟು ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯೂನೋಟಿಪಿಕ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ತ್ರೀ ಇಷ್ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡೋಣ ಕೆಲವು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಓಕೆ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪಟೇನ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೀಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೋನೋ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀನ್ ಸೊ now let us look into the question question here you have already studied some of the concept mendel is popular for postulating this is a question origin of species cell theory linkage theory loss of inheritance so you know correct answer for this mendel is popular for postulating
during the first meiosis and the alleles with the characters segregate into two different gametes in the second meiosis. Now, another law that is uh, put forward by Mendel is the law of intermediate serpent. It is also known as uh, the second law. And it is also known as inheritance law, which states that alleles of different genes assort independently of one another during gamete formation. Even though alleles come together, whenever more than uh, two characters are two characters or more than two characters are studied at a time, the alleles of different genes assort independently of one another during gamete formation. So, this you must know that. Law of segregation was put forward by Mendel based on monohybrid class. And the law of independent assortment was put forward based on the dihybrid class where two characters are taken at a time. While Mendel's experiments in mixing, one trait always resulted in 3 to 1 ratio. Mendel's experiment with mixing one trait always resulted in 3 to 1 ratio between dominant and recessive phenotypes. His experiments with the two traits showed 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio. Mendel's experiment with one trait showed 3 is to 1 ratio, that is monohybrid class. With the two traits, it showed a dihybrid ratio, that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. The original species in the question, there was a mention about original species. The original species is a book authored by Charles Darwin on evolution or Natural selection. Then, with regard to the cell theory, you know, cell theory says that all the living organisms, they are made up of cells, especially plants and animals. The body of plants and animals are made up of cells and the new cells are produced from existing cells. It is what is in cell theory states. The credit for developing cell theory goes to that of the Sleden and Schwann. But this cell theory was modified later by Rudolf Virchow. Chromosome theory blinking. This theory was put forward by Morgan and Castle. And it states that the genes which show linkage are situated in the same pair of chromosomes. Chromosome theory blinkage. It says that the genes are present on the chromosome are called linked genes. Linked genes. Which of the following scientists rediscovered Mendelism? Already you have heard the credit goes to Hugo Duris, Carl Correns, and Sherman. Answer is the third one. Always it is asked, they are from which place? You should remember, Hugo Duris is from that of Holland, and Carl Correns is from Germany, and Von Schermack is from Austria. Mendel carried out breeding and crossing experiments on the garden pea, Pisum sativum between 1856 and 1863. This is very important, 1863. So, he has carried out this for seven years. The results of the experiment were read out in the two meetings of the Natural Society Brunn in 1865. And also you know that it got published in the Proceedings of Natural Society in 1866. Right? Now, question number three. How many types of contrasting characters did Mendel select for his breeding experiments in garden pea? We have already seen the answer is seven characters. Seven characters with two varieties for each character. That means 14 varieties. And these are the, these are the characters with the varieties. You must know them. Right? Okay. Then. Mendel selected P as material for his experiments because why for? If you look into that, it is an annual plant with a comparatively short life cycle. True, flowers are self pollinated. Yes, can be. The number of seeds produced is quite large. All of the above. Answer is all the above. Yes, it is correct. Gregor Mendel's work on P plant was rediscovered in the year. You know, answer is 1900. And you know, the three scientists. When they have started working on the Python Saturn, they get to know or they got to know that Mendel also worked on this sufficiently in 1865 or during that. So, 
question number 6 the factors for a character will segregate equally and pass on to each gamete uncontaminated this is this is mendel's law of segregation law of independent serpent principle of dominance principle of unit character answer is that it is law of segregation and you know already you heard about the law of independent assortment and principle of dominance also what is the principle of dominance you know principle of dominance it says that uh, in the f1 whatever character appears is a dominant and whatever is hidden that is a recessive seven in p plants a tall stem capital t stem trait is a dominant or dark stem trait that is small t a cross involving homozygous or tall homozygous or tall and a homozygous or dwarf produces a tall plant if the f1 tall plant are interbred their progeny consists of you know by this seeing this one we can easily make out the answer for this question is a four both the tall and dwarf plants in the ratio is one so what is said a cross involving homozygous or tall and homozygous or dwarf produces a tall plants this produces one type of gamete this produces another type of gamete it is this one is the F1. If the F1 is interbred, if the F1 is interbred, this is as good as monohybrid self-pollinating case. F1 is interbred. Their progeny consists of when capital T is small t into capital T is small t. You know this results in capital T t, capital T small t, small t small t. In one is two, two is to one. These are all together. It is a three, and this is one. So both the tall and dwarf plants in the ratio three to one. This is what you have. Match the terms given under column one with that of the column two. What is the genotype? You know, genotype is a genetic constitution of an organism. Recessive character, recessive character, the trait that remains hidden in the heterozygote, recessive character. Hybrid, an organism produced by a cross between two individuals differing in certain character. Hybrid, and phenotype. Observable characteristic of an organism, phenotype. So, what do you see? A is a T. Yes, A is a T. In all these three, A is a T. And B, B recessive, recessive. B is R, B is R. Here it is B is R. So here is B is R, B R B R B R. So this is secret, this is secret. C hybrid. An organism produced by a cross between two individuals differing in certain characters. C is P. Yes, so C is P. C is P is only here. It is Q here. So it is S here. So correct answer is for this is the one, right? Now let us look into next question. The phenomenon of expression of a member of a pair of alleles in a hybrid is called phenomenon of expression of a member of a pair of alleles in a hybrid is called segregation, dominance, incomplete dominance, co-dominance. The phenomenon of expression of a member of a pair of alleles in a hybrid, in a hybrid, is called, you know, answer is uh, dominance. In a hybrid, only the dominant is expressed. The phenomenon expression of a member of a pair of alleles in a hybrid is called dominance. That has led to the theory of uh, law of dominance. Right? Now, last question. In a cross between a tall plant, pea plant and a dwarf pea plant, the offspring obtained are both the tall and dwarf. In a cross between tall plant with the dwarf pea plant, dwarf, dwarf pea plant, pea plant, the offspring obtained were both the tall and dwarf. Tall and dwarf we got. Tall and dwarf we got. So, therefore, the genotype of the parent to tall should be tall. So, now let us write uh, the genotype capital T. We don't know what is that. Uh, here you have to write a small t, small t, because dwarf is a small t, small t. But here you are getting dwarf, yes. Here you are getting tall. That means if this t, out of the, this t, this t has come from here, this t should come from here. So the genotype of the parent tall should be 1, 1, right? It is a monohybrid test cross. Example for monohybrid test cross, right? So, in this way, we are going to discuss CT bar neat questions in our regular classes. Here now, Kannada will help you. Here, Lartha will help you. So, 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 Kannada will help you. Here, just you know, go to the next question. Kelly, question number nine, go to the next question. Here, now, Madhuri, Madhuri, Namaskara.